Okay, breaking techniques, trying to increase inertia initially, then momentum as you strike. Just put a box full of videos up on the Facebook page. Some of me breaking this easily, some of me bouncing off. Good learning curve, because I know if I get all jumpy and shouty, I can break this using body weight and speed. If I get all cocky and lazy, it don't break. So I've got to get it right. It's still a good, strong, fairly new board, and if I get it wrong, it laughs at me. But there's a couple of techniques I haven't been able to do yet. And what we're looking to do is get the hand chakra spinning to increase momentum so we go through the board. And if, on the internet there's, there's loads of diagrams and pictures and meridians and chakras and blah 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 and you'll get a picture of a you'll get a dot on the hand or a chakra on the hand. <coughs> so they do stuff. And if you spin it at the right frequency, you might be able to use it for healing. And then a little quantum leap, if you want to beat frequency, both hands together, <coughs> which might give us a bigger bandwidth. Anyway, that's a tangent. So, palm facing down, invert the hand, slap it against the board, it breaks like a hot butter through a knife. Seen that, what's the tree? Feels good, no effort, fantastic, really fast, all good. Now, palm facing up, invert it, drop it, palm hits the board, bounces off, I look like a fool. Because I believe the chakra needs to be flipped. Another tangent. What I'm getting through intuition and dowsing is there's this two dimensional chakra in the hands and in the feet and other places. Correct energy will start to work. And to initiate them, you turn the hand, yin yang style, which I've done years ago. Mess up the other guy, knock him across the room. <clears throat> but two dimensional sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? And then boom, on the internet, mathematicians Work out the maths for two-dimensional gravity. Well, if that ain't as crazy as me, I don't know what is, and they're mathematicians, so I'll take that one. So if it works, palm down, invert, hit it with the back of the hand. If I can flip this chakra, I should be able to do it with the palm up, invert it, and then slap and hit it with the palm of the hand, <clears throat> not the back. So let's give it a go. <laughs> it's like it wasn't even there. Um, the times I bounced off that. In fact, I've never broken it that way before, ever. And not that sweet, I didn't feel a thing. So if I can flip that chakra, 90 degrees, not 180, I should be able to punch. So I should be able to do a short distance punch. So I've got my index finger touching, and I want to try and drop it and punch. So if you look at my hand, it looks like Kenny Everett with his big gloves on, big hands. Or the right hand dynamo roll, I think that's what it is. So, let's flip it. times I've tried to do that and failed. <laughs> yes! Okay, last video made me very happy doing that short distance break with a finger on the board. I've been trying to do that for a long time. And now I try something completely new. It's to do with the heart 
That's to do with sound energy. So I'm trying not to use this chakra thing. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, well I suppose if I do that, that's about the weakest I could possibly get because there's no weight behind it. That's a big surface area, perfectly <laughs> covering the board. So I'm just going to do a little whipping motion. And I, you, you've seen me fail that, so that ain't going to work. Now, unless I play with that chakra. Now, I would have to flip it. So I'd have to do some intent. So I ain't doing any of that. What I'm going to do is do a technique with the heart. This is brand new from about, oh, about 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, I worked this one out. So this will be fun. And when you get the eight, the working out behind it is quite droll. Anyway, let me get on with it. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> 